Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. What? Nothing to say? Block will do that to you. They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. What are you doing here, Morgren? Come to rub your triumph in my face! Far from it, Lady Mira. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said, and I've come to the conclusion you're right. Lud will likely betray me the first chance he gets. And I realized I'd overlooked something of great value. Your name. I want you as my wife. Your wife? Have you lost your mind? Not at all. This makes a lot of sense for both of us. I want Ironrath, and you're going to give it to me. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. Marrying me won't help you get Ironrath. The title belongs to my brother. He's the rightful lord. <laughs> I'm well aware of the king's law, Mira. You think I haven't thought about that? Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> One way or another. And it won't take me long to get rid of the harebrained fool myself. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive. Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. Until I cut your throat in your sleep. <laughs> Doubtless you'd try, given half a chance. But you won't be. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? You will never have Ironrath. And you will never have me. What? You fool. I'd rather die. Fine. Have it your way. She won't get far. Not out here. Let me go! Sylvie! Uh, he's my brother! I, I wasn't finished! <laughs> when you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which was why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I thought he was getting help. Whatever they've done, it hasn't worked. 
There's nothing that will save him now. Which is why I needed to do something for me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... That's when they found me. The Nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. What? It's our way, Garrett. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrett. You're the only one who can. I'm sorry, Sylvie. I can't do it. God is my friend. Then you won't let him suffer any longer. You'll see. He's in so much pain. I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. This is for Cotter. You can't give him that. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him, and taint his blood. <coughs> Garrett. Garrett, is that you? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? She can't see you right now. But don't worry. She's fine. I thought, I thought they took her away. been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. God is a fighter. Always has been. I can see that. But now you can use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron. The handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrod. It's no accident they sent you. I speak only for myself. Garrod Tuttle. Lord Gregor trusted you with the secrets of the North Grove. He must have seen something in you. Your friend is dying. But his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart. His beating heart. And his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. This beating heart! This is madness! Not madness. Necessity. Madness would be letting the North Grove fall. 
You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Garrett. <laughs> Can't take it any longer. End his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. Let us use his blood to give us strength. Out there, you saw what's possible. That was only the beginning. Perform the ritual, and we can prepare for the coming winter. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. Cotter's my friend. I wouldn't be here if not for him. And I have to respect what Sylvie asked me to do. Then so be it. Fulgorn Bisonair. We must burn the body. Your fighters are in place, my lord. Once they're all seated at the table, give the signal to strike. Remember, no matter how much they might provoke you, we must let them think they've won. That's them. Here we go. Gwyn! Clever. Send the girl first. Don't let her play with your head, little brother. Lady Forrester, my apologies for arriving unannounced. I was hoping I might have a word in private with Asha. I think we can agree these are not ideal circumstances. Agreed. But these are the circumstances we find ourselves in. I know how you must feel, Asher. What your family has suffered, it's unimaginable. Which is why the bloodshed must stop. I agreed to your father's terms, didn't I? You did. But I know you, Asher. You're not the one to roll over so easily. You don't like being pushed into a corner. It's not in your nature. I don't need your sympathy. I agree to your father's terms, that's all there is to say. I wish I could believe that, but I know you too well. You have to understand. I've risked everything to bring peace between our houses. To meet with Roderick in secret. To tell him of the traitor within these very walls. To make sure no harm came to Ryan as our ward. All while persuading my father the bloodshed would end if we were to wed. I have no ulterior motive, no hidden agenda, just peace, once and for all. I trust you, Gwyn. I know you've lost a lot, and... and I'm sorry, but things will get better. Truth be told, my father's scared of you. Is he? With Roderick, he knew who and what he was dealing with. But you, he thinks you're dangerous. You proved as much when you attacked his men. They came after us. I know. And that's all in the past now, I promise. 
We can make this work, Asha. This is our one chance. Together we can control the future of our houses. Just promise me, when my father and brother walk through that door, nothing will happen that could threaten that future. Our future. I need your assurance. Nothing will happen. And at this point, it's in the hands of the gods. Begging your pardon, my lord. I'm afraid Lady Forrester requires your help. Of course. I should go. What help does my mother need? Sorry, my lord. It was the best I could think of. But we have everything in place. How should we proceed? Ready the men. Of course, my lord. Elissa, I'm sorry it's come to this, but at least it's done. Where's my son? Right to it, then. Mother! Oh, oh my baby. Oh, oh my baby. <laughs> Enough blubbering. You can have him back when we've hammered out the details of your surrender. Lord Whitehill. Asher! Now, who'd ever have imagined this? You, welcoming me into your hall to drink your wine and call me father. <laughs> I thought I'd seen the last of you when Gregor shipped you off to the other side of the bloody world. Let's get on with this. Watch the hurry. We'll be spending the rest of our lives together. As family. You're not my family, Lord. And you'll never be mine! If I wasn't so bloody soft-hearted... Father, please. I know this isn't easy, but it's right. Would you like to sit down, Lord Whitehill? Aye. And get us something to eat! I'm bloody starving! We thought you'd like to sit here, Lord Whitehill. I'll sit there. Thank you very much. In the Lord's chair. It's not like your father wanted your worthless ass in it. It's just a chair. By all means, sit in it if it makes you feel important. What? How dare you? You think you have any power here? What will it take for you to learn to show respect? How many more foresters do I have to kill? Calm down, father. Asher's been amongst Cellsword so long, he's forgotten how to behave. Teach him some manners, then. <laughs> 